So Randy, what are you doing here this year? <laughs> I love GDC. It's where we get to, you know, all the peers get together and we talk about the process of making games. We also do a lot of business here and, uh, you know, get to talk about what we've done and how, how we could be doing it better. Also get to look ahead and see what we should be doing in the future. So it's a great place. So speaking of what you're doing, uh, Brothers in Arms got delayed again, <laughs> and we're we're, we're starting to this starts this is starting to become a bad habit. Um, you know, it's funny. I, I I don't know if I'd say. From our point of view, we haven't, it hasn't been delayed, we just haven't finished it yet. It's, it's, one, it's a tricky problem, you know, Ubisoft's a great partner and they, uh, you know, they're a publicly traded company and there's retailers and there's the press and so they've got to say something. Uh, and, 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 and we've all tried to make some guesses as to, you know, when we think we're going to be finished. But um, we've always had this attitude with this particular game that we're going to make the game that we need to make, the game that we want to make, and, and we're not going to clip it and ship it. You know, we're not going to cut it off short just to get it out for a particular quarter. I can say though that we are coming in for a landing now. Now, and it, it's definitely this year and uh, it's, it won't be long before we announce the date. Because it's actually, it's kind of weird to say, but it's been a long while since a really big World War II game now. Isn't that interesting? Yeah, isn't that interesting? It's, you know, there's, there's certain genres that are They're, they're here, right? Whether we're saving the world from aliens as a space marine, whether we're fighting dragons as a wizard or a fighter, or or whether we're soldiers in war, and and we're we're gonna have games in these along these lines, and uh, and we're gonna we're, they're gonna be fun. Uh, but yeah, you know, I think um, I think that it's it's pretty interesting. I think the Infinity Ward guys did a great job with with um, with uh, Call of Duty 4, and I think you know for them it was probably exciting to 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 try something a little different. Um, And uh, but but also like there's many of us that love the historical aspect of World War II and love what that period means for for the types of combat we've had and there's so many untold stories that you know wow there's fewer people serving that now so so uh, so we're, we're we're happy to do it <laughs> we're very I love the game and I'm, I love the, the 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 place and and the story and everything and so we're very excited to spend more time there. Speaking of brothers in arms, takes us to your third game, yeah. Aliens. Yeah, I know. Can you believe it? <laughs> Been, we've been stealing from aliens for so long. Everybody has. It's you know, and the reason you know, I, a long time ago, I, I worked at 3D Realms, and I got to. I was fortunate enough to work on uh, the Duke Nukem property when I worked there. Not not Duke Nukem Forever, but the earlier stuff. And uh, and even there, like there's face huggers and there's Giger influenced, you know, aliens and art on the wall, you know, the, the environments and and you see like the dropship in Halo or the sergeant guy, which is basically like Apone from Aliens or even in Call of Duty 4, I was playing it and they just like in the first mission, there's just lines ripped straight from the movie. He pulls out a shotgun and he says, I like to keep this for close encounters. And so we can't help ourselves. It's so great. We're all everyone. Everyone's just been stealing from it and somehow through luck, random chance, perseverance, relentless like attacking it, we, we, were, we got the opportunity where we can make a legitimate Aliens game and actually have it be the real property. And so our, our vision, our goal, our dream there is to, if you've seen the second movie 50 times like I have, Uh, we want to live that. We want to live. We want to live the life of a colonial marine and know what it's like to be, like, feel what it's like to be one of those guys and do the kinds of things that they did, uh, both in kind of the context that we've seen in the movie and other things. What else could those kinds of guys do? What, what, why, why, you know, why do we have colonial marines in that universe and what do they do? And and that's that's the fantasy of the game. So you're not the lonely heroine Ripley. You're you're more of part of a group, part of a team. Yeah, you're part of a squad. In fact, if you um, this month's issue of Game Informer, it probably reached shelves yesterday. Um, Um, Aliens is on the cover of Game Informer, and um, and there's it, it, a lot of details inside. A great story. So uh, uh, if you if you have an opportunity while you're here in San Francisco, you could go to a bookstore and pick one up, or go to a GameStop or something. And actually, I haven't seen it yet. Yeah, it just came out. Like I I, I bought my copy yesterday uh, from from GameStop. So. so so what platforms are you making the game for? Um, Xbox 360, PlayStation 3, and PC. Is it is it using Unreal Engine 3 or? Yes. So yeah, we, we actually love the Unreal Engine 3. We are using it for three of our games: um, Brothers in Arms, Aliens, and Borderlands. Each uh, game is using a slightly different variation of Unreal Engine 3, where we've written our own technology and, and expanded on it a lot. Also, Epic has been doing great work and support with the technology since Gears of War shipped, um, and so the technology is much more powerful today even than it was when we saw Gears of War. And so all of our games are getting advantages there, both from the work that Epic's done and the work that Gearbox has done on top. And you'll see when, when Hell's Highway comes out, Brothers in Arms Hell's Highway, for example, you'll see fidelity that's that's even higher than what you saw in Gears of War and, and other things that that, that that weren't able to be possible until Epic added to the technology and Gearbox added to the technology. So it's awesome that, that everyone, both the, the guys that are making the tech and those of us that are licensing it and doing great things with it are, are able to, to build and move forward and make it even better. 
Moving forward, of course, you're, you, the, the the rumor mill has it that you're making this great new ba game. Apart from these three games that we've already talked about, I, I, I am. I've just started pre-production with an awesome uh, pre-production team, and we are in the earliest form of pre-production on something that we won't even talk about until 2009. Like, I won't. You, you won't crack me. I won't say anything. But uh, but it, that you that game will. You know, 2009 is maybe. I don't know. We'll see. We'll, we, we won't. We're not talking about it right now. But yeah, it's it's. Some people do know that I am directing a game that's going to come out down the line, and yes, there will be more games from Gearbox, and, it's some, and they have to start sometime. At the same time, I mean, I can imagine that you want to make another Brothers in Arms, you want to make, you want to make uh, another Borderlands perhaps down the line, so you've got a lot of things going there. There's a lot of games that could become franchises, and, yeah. and of course, if the Aliens game takes off, I'm sure that Sega would want to make a sequel to that. Yeah, isn't it great? Um, the, when, when we do a good job, we can keep going and we can try new things too. And that's that's the dream, right? There's so many great ideas that should become games, and, and, and a lot of folks are doing great things out there, and we want to do our part, and we're just doing the best we can, you know? So. Okay, so I'd like to thank you for your time. Yeah, thank you, man. Thank this, you. Thanks for good questions.